Right, Webflow Pros, I have a top tip and trick for you today. It's gonna to be the creation of a sticky section within Webflow, and then I'm gonna tell you at the end of the number one problem people run into that absolutely messes this component up. So let's go over to my screen. Now you can see here that I've got my style guide open. You can get this from the newsletter that is pinned to the top of my Facebook group, Webflow Pro Group, which is linked in the bio below. So I'm gonna open up a new page. Actually, let's duplicate the homepage because we need the structure and I'm gonna call it this sticky. Let's create that. And then inside of this, I'm gonna get rid of everything because we don't need any of these sections. And I'm going to keep the basic section structure here. So again, this section structure is based on FinSuite's Nate client first naming system. I've made a video explaining this. You will need to understand basics of this. This is, the, this is basically the industry standard of setting up websites, so you should know this anyway. The video will be linked in the bio as well. But basically we have the page wrapper, inside of that we have the main wrapper, then we have the section. Now at the moment that is a hero section, so I'm gonna call this section sticky. I actually need to remove my names from the last build, so I'm gonna remove them there. And now I should be able to call it section sticky. And then I'm gonna to go to the element section by pressing D and then change this tag from header to section. Now we're good to go. We've got a padding global and a container large. Now instead of the con inside of the container large, I'm gonna push command E and I'm gonna put in a div. This I'm gonna call, let's call this sticky section wrap. And then I'm gonna make this into two columns and I'm gonna use a layout grid for this. And I'm gonna put a gap of about four rems in between, remove the gap of the rows and then remove the second row. Now, the size of this, I want this to be 200 viewport height. And now what 200 viewport height basically means is it's gonna be 200%, so two times the amount of your screen height. This is gonna make it very easy to make uh, the sections of the sticky. So also on top of this, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna give it a bit of top and bottom margin. So. 10 rem there and then 10 rem here so we've got a little bit of spacing and then we're going to create some columns so i'm going to get call both columns sticky column and i'm going to duplicate that into the other one now the first one i want to have four sections of text so i'm going to put in a div and i'm going to call this sticky text wrap and then I'm gonna make this 50 viewport height. And the reason I'm doing four is because if I times it by four, you got it right, there's 200 viewport height. So if you watch this, if I copy that, put another one, if they wanna copy, so I'm copying that and then, so I'm copying the text wrap and then, oh, um, the viewport height didn't set to it, so viewport height. Just copying that four times. So I want to copy the I want to copy the sticky text wrap four times, which you can see here. One, two, three, four. And then for all of these, I want to set these to viewport height. So look, this is gonna fill out these columns nice. So the next thing I want to do is I put in some put in a heading. Let's call this heading 01. And then I want to select this, right click the little blue tab, wrap it in a div and then we're gonna give it some padding. So I'm gonna give it padding bottom. These are already preset divs for sizing. Like I said, it's a great structure system. I'm gonna give it padding medium, and then I'm gonna put a paragraph underneath that. Now let's copy these into all of the rest. So I'm just gonna pop these in the other sections. There we go. Right, let's put this one as number four, heading four, heading three, heading two. So there we go, we've got four even sections there now we want to have an image that is going to flow throughout the four sections so in the right column we're going to put command e and then put a div and we we'll call this sticky image wrap and then within that i'm going to put an image and we're going to call this sticky underscore image now i want this to be a hundred percent of the uh, parent div and then i'm just gonna let's just put my logo in there why not so there we go, there's my logo. And look, nothing's, nothing's sticky at the moment. It's just static there. So what we wanna do is select the column, go inside of that. And now the wrap that I've got the image on, sticky image wrap, I want to come to position, set that as sticky. Now again, look, nothing's happened. This is what people uh, tend to get wrong. What you need to do is go to the top and push zero. Now you're gonna see why zero isn't 
good enough, but this is what we start off as. You see it's zero pixels to the top of the screen. We actually want to give this a bit of padding. So I'm going to put 10 rem, same as the size of this margin up here. And look, now the component, the image rather, is sticky to the design. Now if we preview this, this works all throughout. Nice, sticks with the image and then it stops when it gets to the bottom. Now I'm going to show you the problem that a lot of people end up doing later in the build and then the sticky components stop working and it just causes an absolute nightmare and I've been here many times. So a lot of people may create bad structures and when it gets to smaller viewports this text or image might fall outside of the overall viewport and that basically creates a side scroll and the quick fix, the quick dirty fix for that is going to the page wrapper and then coming to overflow which is here and then selecting overflow hidden and what that does is it basically hides everything outside of that box so that it doesn't scroll left or right now again you shouldn't be doing this because you should be building things correctly but this sometimes it, you do need to do this depending on the build and if you look now that i've got that set the image doesn't scroll now if we put that back it does scroll so look you can see even when i'm here and i put it it just snaps all the way back to the top now this doesn't need to be set on page wrapper. This, if this is set on anything that contains this sticky setting, it's gonna stop it from working and it will break it. So just be aware of that. It is something that has caused me a lot of problems, um, but as long as you are just aware where you're using it, you're gonna be fine. So there you go. There is a quick way for you to create a sticky section within your Webflow builds. Now, if you want any of these templates, just join the Facebook group below, and then you can actually down, get, um, add to my newsletter and you're gonna be able to have access to all of my free downloadables. If you do create anything cool with this, please do link the project down below because I would love to see what you guys come up with. And if you have any tips and tricks for me, please just let me know as well because it's obviously going to excel my design career anyway thank you for your time guys and i will see you on the flip side